Well, I bet um, we are um, running a few workshops uh, on uh, Android-based uh, devices, and in particular, um, the resources that I've created for these workshops uh, were based on uh, the Asus ePad uh, transformer. And um, I believe it works very well because you can uh, create really integrated uh, approaches uh, to education using Android apps um, and using the enhanced interactivity of uh, the touchscreen uh, and uh, some of the online content that, for example, we have on uh, TES, like uh, TES iBoard, which is uh, uh, our interactive resources based on Flash. And now, uh, because you can use Flash activities with the uh, uh, Asus tablets, um, you now have the opportunity to have the whole class interacting with a, an activity that normally a teacher would probably use just from the board. So you could actively engage only one or two kids at a time. Now with these uh, tablets, it's possible to use test iBoard across the classroom all at the same time, but the kids can work at their own pace, so you've got more interactive learning, more independent learning as well. And so that's one, one of the biggest advantages I can see using a tablet like this. Um, also, we've been looking at some uh, uses of QR codes in education. And in particular, the, the QR Droid app is a very good one because uh, it lets you yeah, scan a QR code as most of the scans do. But uh, for example, if you've got a text uh, uh, instead of, uh, of, um, of a link, uh, you can then run that text or that question as a search in Google. Another thing that I looked at is some of the space apps that you can uh, download again for free. And for example, we're using uh, Google Sky Maps uh, to look at the sky and uh, let the children look at what they can see at uh, this particular time. Uh, and they can see that there is a, a nice uh, orange line there and that's the horizon so they have to work that out another space app which uh, i've used is the uh, my solar system and again it's the same spreadsheet sorry same worksheet that i've created there are now questions about that uh, app not about the app but about the solar system and the information we can get, de derive from that app so they can compare the orbital speed of different planets and tell me for example how many um, mass years it takes Jupiter to go around the sun once. I think the last one that we used um, is an app called Sketch. And it's a lovely app because it lets you really take advantage of the camera that is uh, um, inbuilt into the, the tablet. Um, and um, we use that in the context of forces. So we ask the kids to take a photo of uh, forces in action in a, in a familiar situation or a few familiar situations. And then they can, uh, with the app, they can uh, add arrow forces and uh, add text and label the arrows. So basically that's a kind of summary of what resources we've prepared for these workshops uh, and that are now available on the TESS website. And uh, we're very uh, grateful to be here and uh, it's been a very good opportunity. Um, and I hope that many people will join the TESS Science Online and look at these resources and and see what we have done with them and uh, how can they, these Android apps can be used in education.